Hello friends, welcome to my channel Animated Study. Today we will learn about Q. A Q is a linear data structure, that means data is stored in single line one by one without any branches which follows a particular order in which the operations are performed. In Q insertion is done from the rear end or the tail and deletion is done from the front end or head. The order is first in first out commonly known as FIFO. The best example of Q is people entering in the train. Where the person come first will get the first chance to get in the train. You can understand what happened without Q here it's simple create the chaos. The other example is network printer where all computer requesting for the printing documents. Here, printer make the queue of all documents and print the one by one documents in first in first out basis. Let's we see insertion commonly known as in queue. This is our queue array of size 5 that means we can maximum 5 element insert at time. The indexes of the array is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Since array start from zero largest index of the array is four that is max minus one. The insertion is possible from the rear or tail and only so we manage one variable to store it that is call rear pointer. The deletion in the queue is only possible from the front or head end so we use front pointer to keep track on it. This is the code for Q insertion. Here front and rear pointers set to be minus 1 because the Q is empty now. We list out all the variable here to keep track of the value change during the execution of the program. Now if we want to insert the elements so we call function insert element which take the Q array and number variable. Here we want to insert value 10 it will be copied in the number variable. First it check the condition rear equal to max minus 1. In our case rear is minus 1 and not equal to max minus 1 that is 4 so condition false. Next it check condition, rear equal to minus 1. That is true here, so front and rear both set to 0. At last in the queue array at 0 position, value of number that is 10 added. Now if we want to insert another element like 15 which will be store in number variable. Now we can see it check the condition rear equal to max minus 1. Since rear is 0 and not equal to max minus 1 that is 4. So condition false. It will check second condition that is rear equals minus 1. Now this is also false because the current value of rear is 0 not minus 1. Therefore, it goes in the else part. Here it increment the value of rear by 1. That is 1. And store number value that is 15 in first place of Q array. Now we want add one more element 30 in the queue it's increment the rear pointer to 2. The element 30 insert into second place of the queue. Similarly, we want to add 25. Rear pointer increment value by 1 that is 3. 25 is inserted at third position of the queue. Similarly, 
we want to add 28. Rear pointer increment value by 1 that is 4. 28 is inserted at 4th position of the queue array. Now if we want to one more element that is 50 in the queue since rear value is 4 which equal to max minus 1 that is 4, condition become true and we get the overflow message that means queue is full. Therefore, we can't insert any more element this onwards. Now we see the deletion in the queue, delete element commonly known as DEQ. Here we have queue array from which we try to delete the element. We will take the variable val to store the value of the deleted element. First it check the condition front equals minus 1, since front is 0 condition false. Therefore control moves to else part. Here value at zero index of the queue store in variable val that is 10. Then front is increment to value 1. Now it check one more condition that is front greater than rear that is 0 greater than 4 dot that is false. So no action will taken. At last function return value 10 and its delete from the queue. Now we want to delete more element from the queue. As the first condition is false, control moves to else part and element of the first index copied into val variable. Now the front increment by 1 that is 2. Since front greater than rear condition is false function return an element 15 deleted from the queue. Now we want to delete one more element from the queue. As the first condition is false, control moves to else part an element of the second index copied into val variable. Now the front increment by 1 that is 3. Since front greater than rear condition is false again function return. An element 30 is deleted from the queue. Now we want to delete more element from the queue. Since first condition is false, control moves to else part an element of the third index copied into val. Now the front increment by 1 that is 4. Since front greater than rear condition is false function return an element 25 deleted from the queue. Now we want to delete more element from the queue. Since first condition is false, control moves to else part an element of the fourth index copied into val. Now the front increment by 1 that is 5. Now front greater than rear condition is true front and rear is set minus 1. An element 28 deleted from the queue. Now if we want to delete one more element. The condition front equals to minus 1 become true and we get underflow message and it show the queue is empty and we cannot delete any more element. I hope you understand the whole process of insertion and deletion in the queue. If you like the video please press like. Subscribe my channel. And share the video. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get my new video notifications. Thank you for watching.